cold as we make our way out in Gorham this morning, but we are here to continue weather at your school. We'll be at the Narragansett School a little bit later on this morning. Their community highlight was the Gorham Food Pantry, and we're joined by fifth grader Julia Altham, who was a helper and organizer in a food drive that took place over the fall. So welcome, Julia, earlier, early, early in the morning. Hello. And tell us a little bit about the food drive that you were a part of this fall. Uh, so I'm a fifth grader, and all the fifth graders helped with the Empty Bowls project in Narragansett School uh, that raised over $1,000. Wow. Um, we uh, had bins, uh, and we decorated the bins and brought them over here across the street. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> How did it make you feel to be part of the project for the food pantry? Uh, it was really exciting, and I thought we donated a lot, mm -hmm. and we helped. Um, lot, there were lots of student leaders, and uh, they are people who help the kids at Narragansett, and uh, yeah. Awesome. So is it something that you'll do maybe yearly? Yeah, I think, yeah, we will. We usually always do like a project that'll help raise money mm -hmm. um, for the school and to help the Gorham Food Pantry. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Julia, for joining us so early on this very cold morning. Go warm up and we get a quick hot cocoa this morning. We will be at the Narragansett School a little bit later on for today's weather at your schools. Send it back to you, Ted.